right, hey! How's it going? Uh, it's been a while since I talked to a camera and the 20 people who watch these videos. It's good to see ya. Um, I've been doing YouTube about a year. Uh, I haven't like dedicated my time to it or anything, but I've definitely enjoyed, yeah, like working on some videos, doing little film things, doing some music related stuff. And uh, yeah, I've enjoyed putting them up and sharing them and seeing what happens. Not much has happened and that's not really my priority so I'm not too butthurt over it. But I've just been thinking a lot about the content I want to create versus the content that people are watching on YouTube. Um, mostly watching. And I don't know, I've sort of felt a bit discouraged, really over this past year since I started. I used to sort of watch videos and be like, I can do this. And now I think the general feel of after watching like the popular videos on YouTube is, man, I wish my life was like that. I, I don't know how it's gone between, I guess, being inspired to being discouraged about life. Um, there's been a lot of creators over this past year that have really like gotten super popular and they're just they're just a an extreme form of escaping you know experiencing really absurd things living through other people's um, crazy and really immature ridiculous experiences and I I just think YouTube's better than that <clears throat> I just wanted to add that I don't think it's bad at all, no, to be stupid or immature in the right setting, you know, like I have another YouTube channel and all I do is just make just really, yeah, just fun, stupid content. So that's not the point I'm making and, and I don't want you to take away, take that away from the video that all I'm saying, you need to be serious, that's, that's not the point at all. I'm, I'm just wondering if you have to be funny or have to be stupid to get popular on YouTube because there's a lot of real um, creative and positive YouTubers, creators and I, I just, it's, they're hard to find and I don't know why when you look at YouTube as a whole platform the first things that rise to the top are just the negative, uh, diss track, sort of bashing other people, uh, and that's just stupid. Yeah, that's just really annoying to me. Like, I, I don't know, I definitely used to feel like it, there's a more of a wholesome community, and I don't, I don't know where that's going. I mean, there's been a ton of videos. First, like, there's there's these content creators who just go viral for just being mean. And then everyone replies to them saying how mean they are, and then they go viral. Like, everyone's just going viral by being harsh to each other. And I just, I don't know, I feel really annoyed by that. And then... Also, you see all this drama about what YouTube's doing wrong, you know, like all the change of rules, how everyone's mad at them, how really they're sort of picking and choosing who they want to monetize and who they want to give money to, and it, and it just seems very uh, industrial, like sort of turning into the industry, turning into the big media world, all about business, all about money, all about stuff like that, and I, I, uh, I feel very discouraged from this being, I don't know, taking me anywhere or, or ever really feeling the community that so many creators have, what basically is what the foundation of YouTube, you know, like people being able to just talk directly to an audience who care about them. And I don't know, it's sort of changed and warped into something very, a bit more dark 
and I just, I don't know, I don't like it. I, I see all these, like, Vimeo ads on YouTube about, oh, Vimeo launched my videography career. All the people are so, like, supportive, but also, like, giving me positive criticism and uh, just helping me really improve my videos, improve my content, and, and really come to a professional sort of experience. And, I mean, obviously you have to pay for that. And, I mean, I'm not saying it's true, but I just don't know why YouTube can't be known for that as well. You know, like, when you look at YouTube, really, people just like, oh, look at all these dumb kids going viral. And, like, I, I don't know why adults have to only see that when they see YouTube. I mean, there's, there's a lot of good. And um, I don't know why older generations don't see any of the good. You know? I don't think the good should be that hard to find. And, um, yeah, I just sort of wanted to make this video explaining what I've been thinking about, what I've been feeling. Um, and I just, I'm looking forward to 2018, and I hope that it can sort of reverse what's been going on this past year. I definitely would like to feel more of the, I guess, community and innocence that YouTube's really founded on. Um, so many things are wrong, so many things are right, and I'm not saying I want to have any input on correcting it all. But uh, this is just, I'd really like to, I believe, really, I believe that that more positivity can come out of it, you know? Just more simple humanity. Humanity. Barbara, humanity! <laughs> just, yeah, I just want to see more people, you know? I don't want to see more personas, more characters, more egos. I just want to see people doing things they love to do and other people, you know, finding and supporting that. That's that's what it should simply be. It doesn't have to be this big money scheming business marketing endeavor. And uh yeah, I just believe in I believe in the the lighter side and the dark. Okay, I'm done. I'm just rambling about nothing anymore. So, thanks if you watched this whole video. I yeah, thanks for making it to the end, and uh, yeah, please support and subscribe and do all that good stuff. See you when I see ya. Yes! Seventh tip!